Hey yo, how's it going guys? It's True Killer back with another video. Now today's video is a special one, and that's because I went and dropped an insane 110 and 0 gameplay for you guys. While well, I did end up going on an insane 102 gun streak, which is equivalent to a triple nuclear in Black Ops Cold War. But before we head into the gameplay, I'm going to showcase the class that I was running. So with that being said, let's get around to the attachments. So starting off with the optic, this one comes down to personal preference, but I like to use a mill stop reflex. This is because it's very clean and it's basically the red dot sight from previous Call of Duties, so you can't really go wrong with it. Then for the next attachment on the barrel, I was using an 18 inch rapid fire barrel. This is mainly because it increases the fire rate. However, sometimes I'd like to use a 19.8 task force barrel. This gives us three very important bonuses on damage, effective damage range and bullet velocity. So I'd definitely recommend sticking with one of them barrels because they're definitely the two best barrels to run on Yorg. Then for the underbarrel, I like to use a field agent foregrip. This makes us more accurate so we can hit them important shots with the org. And that's because what the field agent foregrip does is reduce both vertical and horizontal recoil. Then for the handle, I like to use an airborne elastic wrap. This gives us two very important pros, which are aim down sight time and flinch resistance. Aim down sight time allows us to play more aggressive and rush more, and flinch resistance makes us more accurate and precise. Then for the final attachment on the stock, I like to use a tactical stock. This gives us a very important pro. So the tactical stock is very simple but effective because what it does give us is a walking movement speed by 20% which is definitely noticeable on a weapon like the Org. Then for the rest of the class up, I was running perk greed. So I did have 6 perks which were flak jacket, tactical mast, gearhead, scavenger and ghosted ninja. So guys, let's go into it with the most overpowered org class up in Black Ops Cold War. I definitely recommend that you guys stick around for the gameplay. Because as I said before, in the gameplay, you guys can see us go 110 and 0 man. We went on an insane 102 gun streak, which is equivalent to a triple nuclear. With all that being said, let's get on to this insane gameplay with the org in Black Ops Cold War. Alright, so guys, go give me nuke town domination. Let's go man, we are using it all, hopefully we can do something here, I promise you guys, I will drop a nuclear for you guys man. Watch, I'm gonna go crazy with the org for real, definitely one of those broken guns in the game man. My one boss you can get with this thing is crazy. No, how he's alive. Pretty sure I just spawn trap the same guy. Spawn's flipped. Yeah, they flipped. Armor. Let's go. War Machine. I'm gonna use armor now though. I'm getting close to the hop. There we go. Let's go man. Holy. So glad it's back, man. Let's go. Come on. Bro, I can't even see anyone because of the smoke. That's a bit annoying, man. Spawns completely flip. Oh, it did. Let's 
Oh, we flipped back, I think. Hold up. Yeah, they're here, man. They're all around me. I can hear their footsteps. Holy. Come on. No? Oh, we're chilling. We're chilling, man. There we go. Nuclear. Let's get it, man. Going off right now for real. Got another war machine. Oh, okay. Didn't realise there was a trophy system, but you know. It's all good. Not sure if a trophy system is where it is. That was a nice shot, man. Where's he at? Over there. Bro, I hate smokes. Like, this reminds me of Shipment on Modern Warfare, where everyone would just spam smokes, man. It is so frustrating and annoying to play against, but, I mean, you do you, man. If you want to spam smokes, I mean, I, I guess you can. Let's go, got the hop. I'm going to save that for next round. Bro, I've got to be careful these RCXDs. They always seem to get me. Let's go, man. That car's about to blow up. I'm gonna push back a bit. Let's play it safe for now. I'm gonna be dying. No footsteps all over. There we go. Let's go, man. We're 54 and 0. What a half we had. This org is insane. In season 1, let's get it. Alright, guys, let's go, man. We have a harp as well. Shame we don't have a war machine right now, but, you know, it's what it is. Shouldn't take us too long to get the war machine. Especially with this thing up. Armor. Gonna armor up real quick. Let's go. Only one shot left, man. Let's go.
So this is where Ghost Hall really help us out. Do I have a spy plane? Field mics are a lifesaver, man. Holy, I'm so weak, man. They're after me. They up top. Yeah, okay. War machine, let's go. Hop. Let's go, man. This is hype. No. Bro. Holy. No, have I also hit marker in the first place, man. I'm not dying to an RCXD, not now, man. I need to figure out where that sentry is. Bro, where are they? Yeah, I do not feel like challenging that. Is that there? Okay, that's ours. We need map control, man. I really do need streaks. Sorry I'm not pushing out guys, I just don't want to take a stupid death if you guys know what I'm saying, jeez. Should be good now I guess. Come on, man. I refuse to take a stupid death now, man. I know we did play it safe at the end, but we went 110 and 0, man. Holy smokes. No way we just did this with the org. Let's go and see how many unstoppables we got, man. We went absolutely off. Holy smokes. Let's get it, man. Let's go guys, 72 unstoppables. That means we did get the triple nuclear with Yorg, man. Let's go. 
Holy smokes, that is definitely my best gameplay in Black Ops Cold War, man. We just went off with your I definitely recommend you guys using this class up because as guys just seen, this org setup is absolutely unstoppable. With all that being said, if you did enjoy today's video, man, make sure to slap a like on the video, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this org class up because in my personal opinion, this is definitely the number one best org setup in Season 1. With all that being said, if you do want to stay up to date with the best class ups and tips and tricks in Black Ops Cold War, make sure to click that subscribe button with post notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my daily Call of Duty content. With all that being said, I'll see you in the next one. You've been watching True Killer. Peace.